All right, folks, after y'all get your cup plugs out of there, you're going to want to make sure that these bores, the injector bores, are just 100% spotless clean. Um, that way, when you put the new ones in, you won't have to second guess whether or not it's going to seal. So anyway, there's two spots that it seals. One is at the very bottom there, as you can see in the picture. Um, right down there toward the bottom of the bore, there's a little ring that it kind of seals around there, a little bit further up, and I'll show you a better example of that. But right now, I'm going to show you, you can kind of see down, way down in there. I mean, from this video, it don't look too dirty, but I promise you, it's, it's kind of nasty dirty down there. So what I've done is I went to my local big box store and I bought me one of these doohickeys right here and just put it on the end of my little impact that's made of brass obviously it's not solid gold I wish it was but then I couldn't afford it but anyway that along with your your bestest friend brake clean made by W there I, they ain't paying me I ain't showing you but Anyway, so I'm gonna stick it down in there and give it a little squirty squirt. Maybe in the hole if I'm lucky. Yeah. Oh, and will it fit? Then just kind of go all around the board there. Make shiny pretty. Let's hit it again for round two. Let's see what happens here. Maybe if I try to overhand double reverse swan dive, I can... Now I know what you may be thinking. Oh, but what if one of the bristles breaks off and gets down in there? Well, you're just SOL. But you'll figure that out when you get around to it. Oh yeah, shiny pretty. That's what I want to see. But it ain't perfect. But it's getting there. So, let me get up here for a slightly better look. Stick my head down in the hole. Because I'm blessed with short man syndrome. I can't see down in there from where I'm standing. All right. Yeah, I still see a bunch of crud up in there. It's gonna have to be a cleaned. So. Yep, 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 yep. So, for my next trick... I'm going to have to get something sharp and pointy down in that hole just to get around these ridges down in there. Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer without killing myself here in the process. You can see the back of my hand real well there. Let's see here. If I spin you around this direction, actually put the camera over the hole. All right. Let's see here. It's not going to want to expose, right? All right, so. How do I get it even closer here? I don't know. I'm making this stuff up as I go along. But not only is it not want to focus, but you can't really see down in there all too well. Especially when I don't hold the camera over the hole. Uh, maybe you can kind of see it there. Ah. Boom. Bam. Just like that. So see all that crud down there in the corners? That is no bueno. 
All right, I'm going to try again to my little magic brush here a few more times and just see if I can get all that stuff cleaned out. If not, my next recommendation would be a great big long pick and uh, give it the best go you can. But I'm going to tell you what I'm doing there in just a little bit. That's my top secret project. I'll show you that in just a little while. But anyway, I'm going to keep working on this slightly off camera way I can get better angles to it and whatnot. And uh, I'll show you my results here in a minute. All right, folks. I wanted to point out to you, you see right down there in the corner how it's supposed to be just a nice circular ring. But there's that little bit of debris right up there in the top, kind of at the one to two o'clock position. When you're cleaning these things, you want to make sure you get all that out. You want 100% of it out and it all should be nice and shiny down there. And then you should also be able to clean kind of right where the bottom of that black ring is if you look at the nine o'clock position there. Everything from there down should also be really nice and clean because those are your two ceiling surfaces. So be sure to get all that really nice and clean. All right, folks. So that right there is your new cup plugs after you got the holes all nice and clean. So, so pretty. So. Anyway, the way I like to do this, I keep it in the box kind of like this right here in the bag. That way my grubby hands don't touch all over it. So I just kind of work it on up. I won't drop it. It's slippery. So just like that right there. Slide it all up in the tool. See here, right like this. Bam. On the tool. Just like that. All right. Next, let me just reposition it here real quick so I can show you kind of what I'm doing. All right. So you can see me right over there. So we get ye Loctite 620 retaining compound. And they provide this for you in a kit if you want it for a slight extra charge because ain't nothing in this world free. So I'm about to show you where your two sealing surfaces are. See if I can do this without spilling it everywhere. All right, so right around there, you're in focus. All right, so up here. Now I'm sure somewhere in the destructions, they tell you exactly how much of this stuff to put on. But if you're like me and you can't read or refuse to, just coat it on on there. Make sure you get it all the way around. All right, so that's one sealing surface. Up here is your other sealing surface. So once again, goop it on up. All right, there you go. Way too much. Make sure you put your cap back on your 620. Because it's aromatic or hydroscopic or whatever they want to call it. So anyway, we all gooped up all the way around. Then take our tool we just got the arrow that's going to go in the up direction. Lock your little short butt right around here. And well, heck, if I go and do that without repositioning the camera, you'll never see what the heck I'm doing. Hold on. Beginner's mistake. All right. So there's my hole. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because my great big fat hands are gonna be in the way, but. So, you stick her in the hole, bam. You get your little supplied five millimeter Allen sockets. And tighten it on down. Sorry folks, it's getting kind of late in the day so this may not be the best video quality and I work like a possum in the dark with no lights all right 
So you wanna make sure that your bottom plate here is gonna be sitting firmly against it. Make sure it's backed off enough. This bolt here is backed off enough that that can sit down on it. Now, you don't necessarily have to get out your torque wrench and torque these little Allen bolts to 10,000 foot-pounds or nothing like that. Just get them good and snug. Just make sure your tool is sitting flush up against the head. Bam. Snug. Click, click, snug. Just like that. All right. Next, use your great big three-quarter inch wrench, and you're going to tighten this thing up. Once again, if I was doing this on flat rate or something, I might use a socket. And I don't think I'd use an impact on it, not without ever having done it before. May want to, maybe after the 60 or 70th one or something, I might feel slightly more comfortable using an impact. And also, if this weren't a loaner tool, you know, this is my personal tool, then I might feel more comfortable using an impact, but... Since there are other folks after me, they're gonna be using this thing. Let's try to take good care of it. At least as good as possible. And you're just gonna keep on wrenching. And wrench it. And wrench it. And wrench it. The other tool I've seen on the market, you actually use a hammer to beat the darn thing in the hole. And I kind of like this a little bit better. Slightly less cruel. All right. Now, honestly, I don't think you need to use the goopity goop. But seeing that everyone else online uses it and it doesn't harm anything, put a goopity goop on. But I never found anybody at International that could tell me when they originally assembled these engines that they used goopity goop. Oh, all right, good and tight, German torque specs. And that is seated all the way down at the bottom. And she loose. bust out your super secret Allen wrench take her all apart now I haven't really seen any good videos online of folks actually putting this thing together I've seen a lot of them about people pulling the cups out so I'm not saying by any means that I'm a sure enough professional at doing these. I've uh, worked on a truck once or twice in my life. But by no means does that qualify me as an expert. I'm just a dude in a garage with a pickup truck. Remove bolts because you don't want to throw them by accident and or on purpose. Remove the tool. Pops just out just like that. All right, now, get your super clean rag right here, because you used way too much goopity goop like I did, and just try to wipe the excess out, bump the crap out of the camera in the meantime. Down in there the best you can. Make super duper shiny. Bam. Clean. Alright. And as you can see down in the hole, it's all nice and pretty now. And, and brassy. And still somewhat clean and everything else. So that right there, my friends, is ready for an inject ore. So that's how you do it. All right, and I'll be back with you in just a second and show you what I'm going to be doing to the injectors.